Well, hello, welcome to Man Cave on Trains at this lovely frosty place called Watlington. And I'm here as normal, sitting down there, the two headlights. Let me zoom in, screws to shaky camera and really bad quality. We have a class 66 sand train sitting there because if we come round and look this way, He's on a red signal, and as you can also see, the two tracks funnel into one up there. So he can't go if there's an outcoming train. Looking on the app, I can't see an outcoming train. There's nothing in Kings and waiting to come out, so quite why he's sitting there, I don't know. But let me zoom back out again. Get a bit more quality back to the video. There we go. Right, so we're going to wait. You can hear that rhythmic sound of the V12 just humming away back there as he's waiting to leave. But either there's an outgoing train and he's waiting for that to come before he can pass. Or I don't quite know why he's sitting there, but like I say, I just checked the app and I can't see anything coming out of Kingsland. And this hasn't left Kingsland yet, in which case he's going to be a few more minutes. Of course, from Kings into Watlington, it's about 10 minutes, so unless there's one pulling out of Lynn Station. But, yeah. Oh, very cold this morning, minus three. This is New Year's Eve. I don't know what the time is. I think it's about half past nine in the morning. This is New Year's Eve, 2020. So I hope all my viewers here have survived coronavirus okay, and... I hope you're all staying safe. Of course, it's been a funny old year, 2020. You know, life as we knew it has pretty much changed. With the masks and the furloughs and all this business. So I hope you're all staying safe. And let's hope next year is a little bit better than this one. Well, there's no point in me sitting there just watching him. Because he obviously isn't going yet. As soon as that signal goes green, I will start recording again. Back in a minute, guys. Right, as I thought, he still sits there. And the reason he was on that red signal is because, like I thought, after I turned the camera off, I looked on the app, and there was actually a train then passing out of Kings Lynn. So it's been about five or six minutes, and as you can see, if I zoom right in, there's a headlight way up in the distance, which should be the Kingsling King's Cross train coming. Probably four carriages, not sure, three carriages. It's never normally a that bigger one. But he's now coming into this station, and once he's cleared through, here he comes. Excuse the terrible quality, but I am zoomed in on the phone here. But once he's come and cleared up. Yeah, let's zoom out again. Yep, once he's come and cleared up. Our class 66 sand wagon. Can move. The barriers ain't gone down yet up there, which is surprising. Oh, look at him sparking on his lines, look, with the frosty moorlands. Can you see the power lines sparking? It's amazing. And power lines are really sparking. We've got quite a few carriages on this morning. I hope he clears that off before the sand train starts coming. So I don't want the sand train to pass on the other side of him. I think he's now going to go though.
Yep, here we go, he's off. He's going. Look at them sparks. Some major sparks going on. You can hear them. So, yay. Signal's now green. So our sand train's now coming. I like it up this end of the platform because you actually see him now gathering speed. And the other one's still sparking all the way down the bottom there, look. Here he comes. Look at that. Just come all the way through the night from Dual Glassworks, making his way to Middleton Towers. And it was really nice, he put his hand up and gave me a beat for his horn. Ah. Marvellous. Well, there you go, train lovers. He is on the move. And he won't be back here and, well, he'll probably be back later. He got to go and fill up. I think he'll be leaving about half past two to come back. There you go, he's just filed into that single track. Right. I'm going to get out of this minus three weather. My hands are as cold as the barnacles on a brass dinghy. Honestly, it's... It is cold out here today. So, look how white everybody's. Everything's white. Very cold. But there you go. Time to walk back to the car. And go home. Put that heater on. I didn't even sit on the benches because, nah, I don't feel like getting a cold bum. Right, I'm going to leave it here, guys, and I'll speak to you another time. Like and subscribe to the channel. I often get videos of this train. Different unit today, actually. That's normally either an EWS or a GBRF Class 66. I can't remember what the livery was on that one, but that's not the normal one they use. So, look like we've got quite a sort of unusual one for this line. Right, I'm going to go. Well, at least I put salt everywhere. Yeah, it's certainly not slippery here at all. Nope, not slippery at all. I've done a really good job of gritting around this track. Wouldn't I love to get up in that signal box and have a poke about, watch the guys at work in there. But I don't suppose that'll happen. Right, I'm going to get going and I shall speak to you another time when it's hopefully not so cold because this minus three business just doesn't agree with me so right i shall see you on the next video bye bye guys ha <laughs> ha